So quite a few people have asked how you set up XM Rig on an old laptop. If you have old hardware laying around, like an old desktop or laptop or several of them, um, and you want to mine XM Rig on your CPU, um, I think it's a good idea if uh, you want to support the XMR network or support crypto support cryptocurrency in general, um, or if you want to make a little bit of money. So why not have these machines running and mining XMR? So I'm going to show you really quick how to set that up. So go to Google, type in XMRig GitHub, and it's going to take you to the download uh, section of GitHub for XMRig. So if you click on that and slide down on the right-hand side, you'll see releases. Click on that. In my case, I'll slide down a little bit. Um, here are your assets. I've got a Mac OS, an older machine, about a 2015, 2016 model um, with an Intel i7 in it. Um, still got a good chip. Um, and still has some life in this machine, but I want it to mine in the background. So the way you do that is you right click on the file and copy link address. And then you open up terminal, which I have open already over here, and you use a command called wget to get the file. And then you paste the gz file, so the file that we got from GitHub. So if you don't have wget already, download something called Xcode Tools um, from Apple's website or use a program called Brew, Homebrew. Um, to install it. So once you have wget, you just hit enter there and you can see that it saved the file. And we are going to gunzip this file with a uh, program called gunzip. And uh, we do that like that. And that leads us with um, a tar file now. And now what we do is uh, expand the tar file like this. And you can see it created a directory and then three files below it. And what we're going to do is change that config file using a program called vim or vi. So I'm going to vim config.json. Uh, sorry, I need to cd into the directory first. And then vim config.json. And I'm going to shift G to get near the bottom of the file. And I'm going to go up to these lines right here. URL, passer, use, URL, user, and pass. And the command to, to clear this out is dt, double quote, to delete until the double quote. So dt double quote and then here I'll just hit x to get rid of that. So the username is your, uh, I'm sorry, the URL is your pool address. So um, I have open in another location, actually what I'm going to do is open another uh, shell and I'm going to cat um, documents config.json and I'm going to grab the pool from a file that I already created from another worker. So I will put the pool there, um, and then in the user section, I'll go over to my other file, sorry, and grab my wallet address. This is my XMR wallet address, and then uh, paste it in there. And then pass is the name of your rig, so I'm going to call this one old MacBook. And then escape, colon, right quit, bang. And now we have our completed config.json, so now we just type xmrig, and it will load the config.json. And you can see this is what it looks like when you start it up. And if we watch the progress with a program like uh, Intel Power Manager, or Intel Power Gadget, we can see how things are going. Um, the temperature is probably going to start rising. The CPU utilization is probably going to hang out around 50 because I've only got half of Basically, I'm only using half power here, um, but you can kind of see what's going on. Um, so it's running. I've only got three threads. I could double that and get a better hash rate, but the way you check hash rate um, is with these commands right here. Um, so I type H for hash rate. You can see I'm getting 1.1 kilohash per second, which isn't much, um, but I also want to use my machine at the same time that I'm mining maybe. So uh, it's good to only run it at maybe 75% power, but in this case, it's just 50%. Um, you can pause the program if you want. If you if you want to use your machine, I would suggest pausing it um, and then using your machine and then resuming, R for resume, when you're ready to do mine, like overnight. Um, you can type C for connection to see the pool that you're, you're connected to. And then you can type uh, S for statistics or results. And we don't have any results yet. So um, there we got one accepted share. Um, with a 7.8% uh, effort. So then now the question is, how do you monitor um, what's going on as far as uh, the pool? 
So we're using support XMR, so I just type in supportxmr.com. This is my wallet address pre-filled out, and you can see this worker right here. This is my old MacBook. Um, and this is also my Mac Mini over here, so you can have as many workers as you want. I only have two right now. My Mac Mini uh, is pulling 25 watts, um, mining around the clock and getting like uh, close to about three kilohash per second, um, about two kilohash actually. Um, so this MacBook will get a little less than that um, and will draw more power for sure because it's an older machine. But uh, you can see I have a pending payout of 0 0.018 XMR. Um, I've already been paid 0.116. And if I click that, um, I could have them pay it out right now for a 0 0.001 XMR fee, but I'm going to wait until it hits the threshold of 0.1. And then you go to your wallet and make sure the money got there, and that's it. That's how you mine on an old MacBook Pro or any old machine that you have using XM Rig. So if you have questions about it as you're setting it up, let me know. I'd be happy to help and let me know how it's going as you come across your old machines, old desktops, old notebooks, and you want to mine XMR with it. Thanks for watching.